Uh, Allah said, my slave, if you come to me, you see, Abdullah, you are being stupid again. We just showed you that Adam, he commit no sin. What my slave walked to me? What the point of this walking to me and I walk to you? <laughs> If Allah decide your destiny anyway, what 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 walk to me? Walk to you? You are like just a, you know, you, you sound like a like a like a turtle. A turtle. She bought a ticket of walking to Hawaii. She want to walk to Hawaii, and she's hoping one day to be there. What walking to me? Walking to you? We just showed you that it's a destiny. So my slave walking to me, even if you walk to him, Allah wrote it for you. So it's not you who decide to walk to him and he walked to you. This is stupid. Your prophet is just a dumb person. He keeps saying things, doesn't make sense. Always Muhammad, he tried to copy Jesus. Jesus says, come to me, knock at my door and I will open for you. I am the way. I am the resurrection. Muhammad trying to copy. Jesus used the word 70. Muhammad put the word 70. Everything you will find that everything Jesus said, Muhammad he copy claim it's his God teaching. I will give you an example. <clears throat> Is that verse sound similar to you? A thief even the prayer you pray al-fatiha is a theft everything your religion has is a theft Is that verse similar to, similar to you or familiar to you? Did you see it somewhere before? Thief, literally thief. This is Allah saying that? And look how he changed it just to cover. He take the idea, he adds his own stupid spice and he put it in his book. Do you see those verses? Does it ring a bell for you? What do you think? What do you think? Thief. Thief with no dignity. Now we can show you tons of verses, endless numbers. Let us see if we have anyone. For how many hours we are alive? Let us see. <clears throat> 
actually there's a book it's called uh, priest and prophet you will find very good study actually about Muhammad Stenian verses Do we have any Abdul? No, GB1, we are not censoring you. We are asking you to call us. You are a stupid donkey. Secondly, you stupid, as long as you are saying there is a priest. So how you stupid prophet, he said to the priest, bring your kids and I bring my kids. Bring your wives, I bring my wives. This is telling us that your prophet, he never met Christians. They are priests who have kids and they have wives. And actually not only priests, they are monks. Monks. Stupid religion. So we are asking you, if you want to talk to me, call me. Stop flooding the text so we can hear you and people laugh at you. Or laugh at me. Why you are being a coward? You are a coward. Like your prophet. When Muhammad, he said, he could not refute the Christians. He had nothing to say. He said, okay, Allah told me after this day, if anyone come to you to dispute concerning Jesus, tell them, okay, what tell them what? Come, come, let us call our sons and your sons. But Muhammad have no sons. Our women and your women, but those are monks ourself and yourself then invoke Allah to curse the one who is lying this is the most stupid argument ever if a Muslim he called me and he say he believe in Allah he's not lying he believe in Allah do you see the stupidity if a Christian saying to a Muslim I believe in Jesus is God he's not lying this is belief now you want to say you believe in a lie, this is a different story. So the one who wrote the Quran is a donkey. Because if a Hindu, he says to me, I believe in Rama, he's not lying. This is what he believe. <laughs> so your stupid prophet, not only he's out of his mind, his stupidity is like a diarrhea. What kind of debate this debate is? Let us ask a God to curse the one who's lying. And what will happen next? Here we go, you ask Allah to curse the one's line. What happened? <laughs> Did you win the debate? So, based in the stupid Muhammad stories, I should not be debating Muslims by showing them verses. They show me verses. We should ask, we should uh, make a scandal. He called me, he say, hey, may Allah cut my nose if I'm lying your turn, Christian Prince. May Allah cut my toes if I'm lying your turn. May Allah cut my finger if I'm lying. What's, what, this, this is debate? This is debate? This is a stupid religion. Because that will prove nothing. And you know, if, if somebody is lying, then Allah will curse him because he asked Allah to curse him. Have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this? That's mean if I lie as much as I want and I never ask Allah to curse me, I'm fine. I mean, this guy is a certified donkey. Every word he say is a poo, poo Based on this, the God of Islam will not punish you unless you ask him to punish him. To punish you so you can go lie as much as you want don't just just don't ask Allah to punish you for lying stupid and this is what the Muslim is they hate they don't want you to talk about this so they want to post a verse for you in the Bible so you can get away from showing how stupid Muhammad is when a blind man come to Muhammad house and then he ordered his wives to cover up and the wives they said to him but prophet this guy is blind <laughs> the 
he said like what <coughs> they said to him the guy is a blind so why we need to cover up what a stupid prophet Muhammad here he need to fix it so look what he said he said well I know he is a blind are you like what the heck this is alone proof that Muhammad is a certified idiot Because, okay, now they cover themselves. What happened? Are you following with me, guys? Let's go with Muhammad. The wives now, they cover themselves. And? Stupid. The guy is a blind, nothing changed. This is what Muslims they hate. They want you to talk about philosophy as David would he do. Just talk about anything, just waste time, kill it. And then we claim that we have a debate, but don't show us this garbage. Because this is a proof that Muhammad is a stupid, literally. If a blind come into my house, and let us say my wife, she is wearing a bikini. Who, I mean, what the difference is going to make? If she wear hijab or wearing bikini still? <laughs> stupidity and now I order her to wear hijab and he was not able to see her before he can't see her after so what the point but because Muhammad is a stupid and he is so proud of himself he don't want to know he don't want to say oh sorry I forgot he is blind you know oh sorry uh, yeah he's blind you're right he don't want to say that he's a coward is the brave enough to say I was wrong? He said, are you blind? But all of us, we knew that Muslim women, they can see people. They can look with their eyes. And the guy is not coming naked. And he says, are you blind? This is alone prove who is Muhammad. Because this is Muhammad, who is inspired by God, is fixing a problem. And what is the problem? Blind is coming home. <laughs> a blind man coming home. And Muhammad don't want the blind man to see his wives. And now he is asking the wives to wear hijab, and that supposedly will stop them from seeing the blind man. Are you there, Abdullah? This is a prophet of God. I know that he is a blind man. Are you blind too? So now Abdullah is a blind man come to his house. He will order his wife to wear hijab. And she will say to him, why? The guy is blind. He will say, are you blind too? <laughs> why? Did she put the hijab over her eyes? What the hijab did exactly? Make her blind too? Do you want to make her blind? So now we have a blind who cannot see her, and we have a blind woman, she cannot see him. Yeah. You know, don't ask Abdullah to call me. This guy is a genius. Whatever I say to him, he said, I don't know. And he called me, he said, I want to, I got you busted. <laughs> I will ask my sheikh later. I mean, those Muslims, they got me busted left and right. Each time I go live, I got busted. I don't know what to do. I mean, that's it.
if the Dajjal is the enemy of, of Islam, does that, first of all, how the Dajjal is an enemy of Islam if he is the Antichrist? <laughs> He's not anti-Muhammad. <laughs> Again, Muhammad is a stupid idiot. He stole a story. The Christian, they are waiting for, you know, they believe that somebody is going to be Antichrist. Muhammad, he said, okay, let's add it to our books. <laughs> And then he start adding his own spice and paint, you know. Uh, if you if you read the Muslim Hadith translation, it says the Antichrist. So this guy, Muhammad, he's he keeps saying to us, Jesus is a, is just a messenger. So why why this person is Antichrist, not anti Muhammad? I mean, why is Antichrist? This is the devil himself. This is a person, according to Muhammad, he will cut a human being to pieces and he will put him together by one order. At the Jal, according to Muhammad, he will order the dust to turn into gold. Can you imagine how powerful he is? He is anti who? He is anti Christ. That means Christ is God. Because this person is anti God, this is the devil himself. The second they say that they believe in the Antichrist, they just admitted that Jesus is God. He's not anti-Islam. He's Antichrist, which means he's anti-Christianity. And that means that the Dajjal is in the team of Muhammad and he is Muhammad. Because at the Dajjal and Muhammad, they have the same target. And not to forget to mention here, when Muhammad he said that the Dajjal and Allah they have the same look except one eye. That means Allah is a man too, because the Dajjal is a man. Anytime Muslim they speak about Antichrist, that means they are saying that Muhammad is a fraud and Jesus is God. Why Shaitan? Satan is Satan. Satan is a challenging God. It's not challenging a human. Satan is very powerful. So when he is, and Muhammad described this person that he can even split the man, make him two pieces. I mean, who can do that? Cutting a man two pieces and putting him together in the spot right away by just making one word, saying one word. So this person is not a human being like everyone. He looked like a human being. But he is extremely powerful. He can turn the dirt into gold and silver. So, uh, uh, when the Antichrist will come, he have one target: is a Christ. Uh, Katie, are you asking me to block you? What? Uh, look what the Christian Prince is talking about. Look what Katie is talking about. Uh, is my windows, my car windows, are they manual or they are uh, automatic? Okay, Katie, I just blocked you. Thank you for being here. Obviously, you are very thinking, deep thinking about what I'm saying. So, six hours I'm talking and she is thinking about my car. Are they uh, automatic or manual? Lord have mercy. Thank God, I'm single. This is what is worrying you? My car is automatic window or... Talking about the Antichrist? What do my car window have to do with the Antichrist? Is there a connection for you? I, I think they are similar. I think I think the Antichrist he will use a car like mine. There's a relation. Will you have to block people? I mean, people they drive you crazy. I mean, I appreciate that she is worried about me safety. But don't you appreciate to talk about the topic we are talking about? 
Do you think I'm driving now? And why in the world car with manual window is safer? Since when? Why is that? Oh, there I see. Talk about Imam Mahdi. There is no such a thing. This is just a joke, Mahdi. Your prophet, he said, already the Mahdi should be here because Antichrist already was in his time. The Mahdi is a person who prepare for the Antichrist. But Muhammad, he says, Antichrist was there. There's a group of people, they went to an island and they found the woman, her name is Ajassasa, and they, they, even they spoke to Antichrist. And he had a chain and he asked him, Did the lake of Tabaraya dry? Why? Because I will be going there soon. Stupidity. Read and laugh. What happened? A guy, he came to Muhammad. He told him this story. Muhammad, he heard it. He go out to tell him that this has happened. I mean, can you believe it? And actually, even here it says, Muhammad, where he learned this from? The Messenger of Allah, uh, once he delay, delay his prayer, he delayed the prayer, why? He came out, said, the talk of Tamim at Dori detained uh, me. Okay, what, why, what he's saying? He said, he told me, he informed me about a man in an island in the sea. All of a sudden, he found a woman who was trailing here, and he asked, who are you? She said, I just says, uh, and then the rest of the story, and then they go and they meet the Antichrist. But the, it's a guy who just told him that. Muhammad, he take what the guy said and he start teaching it to the people. Can you believe his stupidity? I mean, it's a guy, he just, it's not Allah told him. It's not Jibreel told him. It's a guy visiting him. He was having dinner with him. Yeah, Jassasa, she is a female. She have a lot of hair. Welcome, Daniel. Welcome here from Kenya. So do you see? He just learned from the guy. He came out. He even delayed the prayer. He liked the story. And now he started teaching it. And now it became part of his now. <laughs> he, just heard, he just learned a story from a guy. Look at this hadith here. Here, here you, you see a whole form of the story. You would go crazy if you read it. So this guy is a mentally ill. He hears a story from people he added to his book. So now he have Antichrist. Why? Because a guy, he told him there's an antichrist, he's in an island, and he is in a chain, and there's a woman, she is his spy, her name is Ajassasa, and she is very hairy to the point you can see, you cannot differentiate between her front and her back. The same story of Harut and Marut. You go to the Quran, you'll find the Quran speaking about two angels, they came down to the earth. There's a legend that the one who taught magic, the first one who taught magic was God. He sent two angels and those angels, their name is Harut and Marut. And obviously the story telling you that this is legend coming from, uh, you know, all the way north of Iraq, like Persia, you know, they're from the Persian mostly, Harut and Marut. So those two angels, Allah, he sent them down to the earth and they ask Allah, uh, supposedly, uh, they said to him, uh, you know, you will send the Adam, he will do mischief, man. Allah said to them, well, you know what? 
Are you you think you can do better? They said yes, we can do better. So he made them have a form of a man, both of them, and he sent them down. And then they saw Venus, Venus, Venus. You know the the, the Venus, the star, the goddess of the uh, Greek. So uh, they saw Venus, and Venus was so beautiful. And then uh, uh, they asked her to have sex with them. And then she told them, "I will have sex with you if you tell me the password to go to Allah." Story. And then those two angels, they came down and they did what they did. And then the Allah, he ordered them to open a school of holy reporter to teach magic so a man, he can divorce his wife. Let me see if I can find the reference for this Venus story. Madness. Never say a story in the front of Muhammad. He will add it to the Quran. If if Michael Jackson was in the time of Muhammad, Muhammad he will make a chapter. It's called Michael Jackson. I'm telling you. This guy, whatever you say to him, go take a dinner with him, tell him a story. He will put it in the Quran. Especially if it's an, like a lot of action in it, like angels flying, flying horse. Uh, Let's see if we can find you the you know the but you know in the same time we are really grateful that Muhammad is a stupid because if he is not that will make it harder for us to show people how stupid he is. Here we go. I found the page. I think this is will, will solve the problem. And I will give you the link actually. Let me pause the link for you. Open it, and then you will find that Allah He sent two angels, Harut and Marut, and uh, when they went to the earth, they found a girl. Her name is Venus or Az Zahra. She is so beautiful, so sexy. When they saw her, they got so horny. They asked her to have sex with them, and then she said to them, "In order to have sex with me, you have to do three things." You have to do three things if you want to have sex with her. She, she requested that, Venus. So uh, anyway, she made them do those three things. One of them to kill, one of them to drink wine, and the other one uh, uh, to, to have sex with her. Uh, no, to bow down, sorry, to, the, to her gods. Okay? And then she said, I will not take off my uh, panty unless you tell me the password to go to the heaven. They told her the password, she ran away, she did not sleep with them. Okay? And then uh, she uttered the words taught by them, and at once she reached to heaven, like she said, Chaka cuckoo, kaka cuckoo, raka cuckoo. She, uh, right away she is in heaven. Because now she has the password, like, come on. While the two stood wide eyed, like, what? She is gone. Like, they gave her the password right away, she said it, and she ran away. And now she is in heaven. But brother, Allah is watching. Allah, he turned her to, into a star. And then we will find what is the name of that star? They will say to you, it's Venus. True story. Muhammad, he heard it. Yeah, here we go. Have fun. This is a true story. Who can deny it? Anyone can. The funny Abdullah, he says to me, there's facts. Are you there, Abdullah, Mr. Facts? There's facts in Islam. Yeah, this, it's a fact. There's a whole report of a story. And the, you know, and Venus is, uh, you know, she is a star and she was a woman. Yeah. This is, here we go. It says, even, even in their website, it says, the women into a star between two bracket Venus. 
Do you see it? I mean, they are not even ashamed to, to like hide it. Like, come on, people are laughing at you. So, uh, uh, that Allah meta what meta more more forced the women into a star Venus. The Imam said, "I see protection from of Allah from such a world, which because of angels are sinless and they have been saved from disbelief and err uh, 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 evils by the grace of Allah." True story. Well, you know, according to them, it's a star. Can you convince Muslim that this is a fiction story? No way. This is a true story. Harut and Marut, there's a, it's a fact. It's proven by NASA. Who can who can deny this? It's absolutely true. And then you will find them. This is why when you when you debate with Muslims, don't let them go out of the topic. The topic is Islam. Don't waste your time trying to explain the book of God for people who worship in this garbage. Or believe in it because you are wasting your time before you go to the Bible you have to convince them that this is stupid after they agree that Muhammad is a fraud then we can go and read the Bible together <clears throat> you know if you ask yourself what kind of God he open a school to teach uh, magic what is that man God, he sent two angels to open a school. And what the magic will do will divorce the wife and the husband. What, what is that? Why are you being evil? God, he opened a school to teach magic so the man and the wife, they will fight. Who of you here is fighting with his wife lately? If you did fight with your wife or you, if you are a lady or you fought, fought with your husband, give me one. Okay, don't give me one. This is private. Uh, if you have a fight with your husband because of Harut and Marut, he is the one who did that to you. He is the one who teach magic. So a man and the wife will fight. True story. You are not fighting with your husband maybe because uh, the money is less, because he's not working maybe, maybe he's lazy, maybe he's rude, maybe he's cheating on you. No, no. It's Harut and Marut. 99.9999999999 they divorce because of Harut and Mary brother is it obvious proven this is fact Abdullah are you there Mr. Facts Abdullah is Mr. Facts he said there's many facts look at the fact Harut and Marut open school of magic that's a fact everybody knows you know And you know, if Harut and Marut, they want to cause you to get divorced, that's it. Don't even think that you can get away from that. Venus. I remember there was a girl when we were in school. There's a girl, her name is Venus. And then when we did read this story, Harut and Marut, uh, the, this poor girl, everybody started talking about her. Venus. Don't teach her the password. <laughs> so each time those boys, they see her and say, did you learn the password? <laughs> her name is, her real name is Venus. <laughs> poor girl. So, and, and you know, and the, and the Islamic teacher, when he you know he teach, he's serious. This is a true story. You cannot laugh. Like, can you even laugh? This is a true story. What's wrong with you? Who they are?
and always I was wondering like where Venus coming from where Venus coming from and then I said to myself I mean this is the only beautiful girl in the world and Allah make her a planet look how lucky I am maybe this is the only girl she can be good for me but look now what happened she became a planet I mean come on why you make her planet I mean we cannot go there and Allah, as long as girl, she was trying to go to heaven, to the sky. Why you kept her in the sky? <laughs> I mean, what the point of making her? <laughs> She's in heaven already, so it it, it work. <laughs> like like you know, if he did, if he didn't, if he sent her down, I would say, okay, you know, her 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 mission failed. She have a failure. But no, he kept her there. Hmm. And look, even they give you verses, you know, because they want to give you reference, brother. I mean, it's not like... A Narrators have said that the same people ask Imam if it was true that when the Holy Prophet specifically declared the Imamate or leadership of the Emir of al muminin you know, that the, would mean the, the one who will lead the, the, the people, presented by the leader to the angels, many of them did not accept it. Like, what the heck? The angels did not accept that. Some of the angels, many of them, and Allah turned away of them into frogs. Like look a heck. Allah made many angels into frogs. Why? Because they did not approve the family of Muhammad to be the leadership. See what happened to you? Okay, how many of you watched the cartoon of a guy? He was a prince. And then they turned him into a frog by black magic. And then the lady, she come and she gave him a kiss and he became a prince again. Frog. Allah, he made the angels, many of them, into frogs. Did you see it? Are we making things up? Do we have any frog here? I mean, any Muslim here? Frog. Allah made the angels a frog. I mean, come on. Don't tell me that this is not from the cartoon. And why frog? I mean, what what about chickens? Do you see how easy you can lose your, your rank in Islam? You know, he was an angel. Second day, he turned to be a frog. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh I better go soon. I'm getting tired. Uh, surely my great grandfather has taught the elders. Uh, yeah, you can read it. I mean, have fun. A lot of fictions, a lot of madness, stupidity. Uh, guys, do you think if I go right now to sleep because I was against the Prophet and of Allah? Uh, I will wake up in the morning as a frog. What, what do you think? I'm really afraid now. Should I go? I mean, should I ask Allah for forgiveness before he turn me into frog? You know, sometime reading. When I was when I was uh, like you know high school and then I went to university, I used to read read a lot. And then you know after you read too much, you you feel in a, like you reach a point you don't want to read no more. Especially if you what you are reading is stupid and garbage and madness. You ask yourself how in the world this has become a religion. How in the world that you live in a country, you can't even dare to ask them how in the like how is this? 
Who dare to ask question? They will kill you immediately. But this is the religion. Never oppose the Prophet of Allah. Allah will make you a frog. So if this is the case, I mean, why you wanna go and do war and jihad? Here we go, Allah will make them fraud. If he made the angel fraud, I mean, is it hard for him to make the human? And you know, uh, he guess, do you think if I get the password and I go up to heaven and then Allah, he will like, he will make me a planet and I will meet with Venus there? I'm just thinking about it. Because, huh. I mean, it makes sense, you know, you, you know, Venus. I know Venus, by the way. I mean, we used to be friends. But, you know, since she did vote for uh, Joe Biden, uh, she is liberal, obviously, you know, she is very open, you know. I mean, she sleep around. Even Harut and Marut, I mean, guys, she slept with everybody in town. This Venus, I mean, come on. Even Harut and Marut. What the heck? So like, she cannot hold herself together. Yeah, so like, uh, we used to be friends, you know, and then she did vote for Joe Biden. Uh, and, you know, and then uh, when uh, uh, Joe Biden became president, uh, she sent him like a million boxes. They are not, nobody knows they are coming from where. I think they are coming from different planets, which is Venus, I believe. And uh, then uh, Joe Biden, he won the election. And this is a true story, you know. Otherwise, how in the world he won? I mean, this guy, he got even, remember his name. We're going to vote for him. This guy, even he forgot the name of the guy he's talking to him. Like, you know, each time, each time a TV host, he called him, he said to him, Mr. President, I'm Chris talking to you. And then he said to him, thank you, Michael. Like, <laughs> I told you, Chris. <laughs> okay, Michael, okay. It's Mr. President, <laughs> my name is Chris. <laughs> okay, Michael, nice talking to you. <laughs> That's it. I mean, you cannot make Joe Biden. <laughs> That's it. You are Michael. If, if he said you are, you are Michael, don't even try. You are Chris, who, who care, you know? Yeah. And then he, he said to him, well, I am, no problem, I am Michael. He said, okay, thank you, Chris. <laughs> When the guy agreed to be called Michael, he, you know, uh, Joe Biden, he switched to Chris. Unbelievable. Yeah. Everything is possible. If if uh, if Joe Biden can be a, a president, Muhammad can be a prophet. Why not? You know, dump. It can't be more than this. Um... I made a tea before I start, I did not even drink it. And you know, Joe Biden, they talk about the virus. He said, I'm going, I'm not going to take any action for now. Like, what the heck, what action does that mean? I mean, what those guys, what they are talking about? It's like, you know, as this guy, he have, he have a box, he can put the virus in his box, and that's it, you know. Action, and which, which is that? What's wrong with you? Nobody can stop this virus if it's a virus. That's it. I mean, just face it. Action. What you would do exactly, I want to know. <laughs> the action against the virus. <laughs> you know what? I'm thinking to, to send this virus to Venus. In one hand, we make Venus sick because she was trying to cheat with Allah. In other hand, we get rid of the virus from this earth. What do you think? Oh, well, you know what? I get better idea. What about we ask Allah to curse the virus and make him a frog? This way, the frog will eat the insects outside of your yard and we will solve the problem. And what do you think? Yeah. I mean, you made the angels a frog. You made me upset now. 
was in was Jibril one of them oh there's actually there's a video I wish I can I, you can I wish you speak Arabic you will die laughing this is a Shia video there's an angel his name is Futros I suppose I'm going to go like an hour ago I hate you all uh, Lord have mercy. So this angel, Futros, he disobeyed Allah once. So Allah, he put him in an island and he broke his wings. So imagine yourself now, you are an angel and uh, uh, Allah break your wings and put you in Hawaii. Okay, how sad. But then one day, actually, let me see if I can find the video. Hold on. I wish you speak Arabic. You literally, you will flip from your chair. Oh, not the women again. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. We forgot about them. Futros. You know what? Let me see if I can find it in English. Angel. Futuros. I don't think so, but uh. I think I found it in different language, but this is not English. Uh, okay, let's go to the Arabic then. Yeah, look, look how many videos about it. If you if you listen, oh boy, you will. So anyway, this angel who Allah broke his wings and put him in an island. Once he heard noise. He heard noise. And. He looked at the sky and he saw a group of angels flying. And then he said to the angels, What happened? Why there is noise? Did the judgment day did come? The angels answered, they said, No! What are you talking about? Today is the Imam Al Hussein is born. Like, what the heck? The angel Futros, who have broken wings, he moved his wings. <laughs> can I go? Can I go with you? They said, how you can go with us? And Allah, he punish you and broke your wings. If you listen to it in Arabic, you will flip upside down. And then the angels, to make the story shorter, they go to Allah and they ask him, Please, can you give him permission to go with us? Because he is really, 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 he want to see the grandsons of a prophet Muhammad. Please, 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 please. And then Allah, he get, fixed the flat tire of the angel, <laughs> of the angel wings. And the angel, he go. <laughs> and then the angels, one after one, they go inside the bedroom of Hassan or Hussein. And then they, uh, uh, like uh, this guy, uh, he do uh, what he do uh, like he move his uh, wings in the top of his bed to like a fan Futros Futros هذا من ملائكة الله اها كما في الرواية اللي يرويها المرحوم الشيخ الصدوق اعلى الله في الفردوس مقامه اه الملائكة معصومون لا يعصون الله ما امرهم Angels are, they, they, they don't disobey Allah. I mean, those Shia are really crazy stories. You just told us that the, the angels, they became frogs. And the angels, they are not the one who disobey Allah. So, eh, madness. 
لكن عن الإمام عليه السلام أن الله تبارك وتعالى أمره بأمر فتلكأ آه The Imam he said that Allah he ordered Futros to do something Futros he did not do it right away See what happened to you when you don't do it right away Do you see what happened? Here we go Allah broke his wings Uh what the word liberal mean depend in what you meant by it liberal today is those who they are consider themselves they are liberated from rules uh, so liberals can be a, a, a positive word or can be a negative word depend who is the one who call himself a liberal as an example people they call themselves those people who support uh, what is named Giavara he is a liberator. In fact, he is a criminal. So don't mix things, you know, together. The same word. Here we go. Muhammad. He called himself holy. Is he holy? You know, one of the things I don't like about people is. Uh, It's like, you know, like, you know, uh, let us say you are a person who clean a car for somebody and you spend like three hours, four hours cleaning the car. And then the guy, after you clean his car and give him the key, uh, then he said to you, oh, there's a dust here. So the whole car is shiny, but he is looking for the dust. Some people, they are really looking for anything just to make a point, which is not a point. What the word liberal in the Bible have to do with liberals when we speak about politics today? Are you saying to me you do not know what liberal mean today? Is that what you are saying, Scott? So what that verse there have to do with what we are talking about? Can we compare between the verse there and Joe Biden and his party? I don't know, people are weird. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, the story of uh, Futros here in front of you, it's very funny. And anyone who speaks Arabic, you can just search it. Just type the word Futros in, uh, in YouTube and you will find the videos. And by the way, Muhammad is very much liberated because Muhammad is a person who he claimed that he is against adultery, but he promote adultery. He come with muta, uh, uh, temporary uh, relationship, one night to stand, uh, uh, even marriage does not exist in Islam. It's a sex contract. Right? Liberal today, they are against their own army. Every liberal he hit the USA army. This is telling you that they are perverted minded people. I mean, this is the army protect you. Why you hate it? There's a there's a guy. His name is Mike Dice. I think he's Mike Dice, right? He he asked them uh, in last. So I saw a video of him. He said to them, uh, "What do you think about painting the White House black?" Because I think the White House, like the word White House, is racist. They agree. <laughs> this is the liberals. So they call themselves liberal, but they are a bunch of stupid people. What the White House to have to do with racism? The house, the color of the outside is white. So what do you call it? The orange house? <laughs> so, so they, you know, do you think we should color it black <laughs> to make people happy? <laughs> Dummy. I mean, this is the level of stupidity we reach into today. They are confused about their gender. They don't know if they have a penis or a vagina. They don't know if she could be a baby or not. They do not, not know if it, the problem, should we use the same bathroom or not the same bathroom? Stupid. Those are liberals. You are not liberated. You are being stupid now. You are under the influence of stupidity.
What is your sense as a human being? What the heck is that? You know? But the most funny uh, video of uh, this uh, uh, dice, uh, when he asked them about the sons of uh, Trump, they are hunting dinosaur. Man, I love it. I don't know what was the name of the, the video. The girl, the second he said to her, what do you think about the sons of uh, children of uh, Trump? They are making, they are hunting dinosaurs. Uh, shouldn't they punish? They said, yeah, they should be punished. He said, because they are protected species. <laughs> Actually, he did not even say dinosaur. He said the, a name from the cartoon. <coughs> Liberals. A bunch of weirdo. Weirdo. Yeah, actually, I like this guy video. Sometimes it's good for entertainment, you know, like uh, he go and, and, the, and the funny, I mean, they knew him. Pop quiz. They knew him and still they are stupid. I mean, they, they knew that this guy is coming supposedly to, to, to show how stupid they are. Still, the stupid ones, they don't. They are stupid. What you can do? You know, once I uh, I was voting, not that for the last vote, I think the one before it. So there's a lady, you know, they ask you for your ID, etc. And she said, uh, so you vote uh, Republican? I said, yeah. She said, it's strange, you have like an accent, you know. Are you like an Middle Eastern Arab, you know? I said, yeah. She said, usually they vote for uh, Democrat. I said, I'm not stupid. <laughs> You should see her face. <laughs> and honestly, by the way, if you are a Christian, if you are a Christian and you are voting for Democrat, you are you are you are really a person who is fighting Christ, because this party present everything against Christianity, everything. I'm not going to count for you. So a person he claimed to be Christian and he vote for Democrat, he is fighting Christ. No question. It's not about politics, but how in the world somebody he claimed to be a Christian support people who do abortion, kill babies? I mean, those people, they fight for uh, animal right, but they want to kill babies. How you can be Christian and you do that? This is just a simple thing of many things. So a person who uh, 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 supports such a party, and he claimed to be Christian, obviously he is not a Christian. Uh, Saronique, maybe next time, my friend, it's getting late for me to go. Um... From the first time, you know, like, uh, from the beginning, I noticed that this party, uh, they told me that this party stands for immigrant, you are an immigrant. You know, if you if you love your country, you will never vote for a Democrat. Only people who they are angry from the country they are living in, they will vote for Democrat. And look, those people are angry, it doesn't matter. They are now in charge, they are angry. It doesn't matter who is in charge, they are angry. A bunch of weirdo. But anyway, if you if you go and watch this uh, guy video, I like his videos. He's smart, and uh, I mean, he, he come with ideas really good. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah, but the one about the dinosaur is the best. See, it's not just about uh, moral. I mean, okay, how you how you defend animal rights? 
and then you want to kill babies. Which is that? Those people, they are against using rats in the laboratory to test a virus for the vaccine. But they are the same people, they want to kill babies. So the whole idea is, I want to live as a selfish person, and we make a gang just to serve me to be God in this earth. The interest is me, and my political party want to support me to be me. And me, whatever I want, I want to be, I will be. There's no limit. The same people who say this idea is the same one. If you try to be you, they are against you, which means if you are a Christian and says this is wrong, they will not allow you. They will be upset. You see the hypocrisy? Freedom of speech is granted for everybody as long as he is from their party. The second you say something, they say Islamophobia, homophobia, babophobia, just say anything. It's a very sick party. I mean, it's really sick. I mean, the poor Trump, even though I, there's many things he did I did not like, they accuse him to be a spy to the Russian. It turned to be all of it is a lie. He, the Russian, make him win. The Russian contact with him. And then we find that Hillary Clinton is the one who hired Russia to corrupt the election. So, all the drama about Trump, for sure he is working with the Russian, CNN, CBC, NBC, but the CC, CCC, you know, it turned to be all of it is a fraud. Thousands of hours on TV, hundreds of millions of dollars spent for this propaganda. It turned to be all of it false. Do they apologize? No. No dignity. No dignity. Whenever a Christian prince comes to Africa, he should be careful because his video has caused a lot of death. I'm not sure what you mean, Mr. Patrick. I, uh, my video caused a death, a death to who? How my video caused a death? I'm not sure what you are talking about. Anyway, as the Chinese, they say, they lived as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. And now, you know, like, uh, 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 what his name? Uh, Hunter. I mean, all the scandal, I mean, look at them. I mean, I I, I, you see, sometimes you lose trust in your government. The FBI, they have his computer, and they have all this garbage. The guy is still in the country. The guy, he have deal every, the guy, he don't even have money. Where is this money coming from? If you don't pay your tax, they will cheat, they will go after you for a penny. How come those people, they do all those disasters? And not until now, nobody even investigating the guy. They have his computer, they have his emails, they have his asking for bribe. He's, you know, he just, he is the one who behind the deal to sell the, the, the biggest company in Africa for, for battery component. Nobody check it. But if a Trump son is doing that, you will see. But you know, I have to say, Trump was a fool. Trump was a fool. He wasted his time when he was a president in order to do what he need to do. He wasted his time going on TV to answer them. Instead of going making law, conquering their stupidity, taking their lies down, and not to give them the ability later to fabricate election, he was busy with the stupid things. Many things he did I don't like, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I hope the coming election we will not have Biden again but as long as they are in charge I think if they were able to make it happen once they will make it happen twice and you know those American you see I, I will tell you something maybe some people don't like to hear before I come to the West I used to think that Western people are very smart and the reason I think that I mean look 
at European, they have advanced countries, look at the American, you know. So in your mind, you think that those are very educated people. When you come to America, you notice that education is not there, sadly. Americans are the last one to be called educated. They have no idea. Fox News, CNN is the education of the American. And both of them, they lie. Both of them. Fox News, when they heard that Trump is going to lose election, they betray him in one day. Suddenly, Trump is not important. Then after some time, Fox News noticed that Trump still he is very popular. Suddenly, they switched to support Trump again. Why? They said to themselves, oh, look like Trump is going to come back. So never trust those media. I mean, I could not believe it that Fox News, in the time of the election, they were the first one to announce Biden as a president. Uh, Musa is saying, uh, Christian print things wrong of Asians who do most invention now. Hey, my friend, Asian who do most invention, not Asian doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you and me, we cannot flourish unless we are in the West. Right? So an Indian engineer, he don't flourish in India, he flourish in USA. Me, myself, I will be not be able to talk and say what I'm saying now unless I am here. Are you getting my point? So if you are an engineer and you are a genius, let's say from Bangladesh, you will stay in Bangladesh getting $300 for the rest of your life. So it's not about Asian. You know, when I say the West, I say the West. When I say the American, I say American. Let's not say white person. I said the West. The West were able to accomplish. And yes, in general, it was the white who was establishing the civilization here. But now it's a mix, you know, country of everybody, including me and you, if you are here. But you need to remember that you don't flourish in your land, you flourish here. That means there's something wrong in your land. People, they want to deny it. People, they want to say this is the truth. You fail there. It's You are the same person. You go back to your country, you are zero. That's the truth. Because in those lands, they kill your dreams. Anyone who want to use his brain, either they accuse him to be a kafir or uh, or a crazy. I mean, they would, they would accuse you of something. You can't use your brain there. Right? This is why you see all the smart ones in Asia, they go to America or they go to Europe. Why do they stay there? So you want to remember yourself to be Asian just because you are coming from Asia? No, they are coming, they become American. They don't want to be, they don't want to be Arab like me. They don't want to be Asian like you. They just want to become American because this is where they can flourish. Right? <clears throat> uh, the guy who is uh, the owner of Telegram, you know, he, he just got the citizenship of France. Well, he's a Russian, he's still Russian. There's a place where someone can flourish and can be something big deal. Right? Call Scott. I do not need to call Scott. Scott is an idiot. Why want to call him? Don't waste your time. You see, there's people that are seeking attention. This is the same guy. He changed his name. You need to learn something very, you know, very simple. There's people they come to seek attention, not people seeking knowledge. Let me call in. We can write, divide the word of the truth. How you can divide the word of truth? That that is a stupid statement itself. We can rightly divide the word of truth. Only the, this is the devil work to divide it.
anyway some people they seek seek attention and you know Scott he just compared the the word liberal he went to the Bible website search for the word liberal he come with liberal that's it this is what liberal is all right Scott here I don't want to insult but he remind me of the Arab guy my cousin he went to the philosophy school and he asked uh, he attended a logic class first time so he asked the teacher uh, what logic is the teacher he said okay well logic is to know something through something else my cousin said to him like what he said okay I will ask you a question do you have a rope at home my cousin said yes the teacher he said as long as you have a rope that's mean you have a dog my cousin said yes he said as long as you have a rope and you have a dog that's mean you have a garden my cousin said wow yeah he said as long as you have a rope you have a garden uh, uh, you know uh, that's mean you have a nice uh, house villa with yard I said yeah wow he said, as long as you have a drop and you have a dog, you have a cha chain, or you have a chief, and you have a dog and you have a garden, uh, your house is a villa, will somebody have to take care of this house? And that is your mother. He said, yeah, true. He said, as long as you have a chain and you have a garden and you have a dog and you have a big villa and your mother is taking, off, taking care of all this house, that means your mother is a good woman. My cousin was like, wow, that's amazing. So the teacher says, see, I just ask you if you have a chain. And from the chain, we were able to know that your mother is a good woman. So my cousin, he learned philosophy now, like Scott. He went to the street. He asked the first guy in the street, ask him, do you have a chain? The guy, he said, no. He said, your mother is a whore. That is a Scott. Because a Scott, he learned that the one who have a chain is the one who his mother is good. If you don't have a chain, your mother is a whore. So you will meet those people everywhere seeking attention, saying foolishness, and the more foolish you are, the more shiny you are these days. So Scott will call me and he will ask me, do you have a chain? Right? Get out of here, Scott. We don't. You are not welcome here. You are just a stupid idiot. And right away, he start accusing people left and right. We are people who believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and you are obviously the devil. You see, you will not find a person who can come against me. And I am the one who make thousands and thousands of Muslims leave Islam to accept Jesus as their savior. And yet accusing us that we are not the true followers of Christ, unless he is the devil. You are jealous. You know, why, Mr. Scott, why you don't open your channel and show us how good you are? Why you are here? Why someone like you, genius here? Why you are under the shoes, touching the shoes, saying, I want to prove something to you? Open your channel, let, let millions of people can hear you. As long as you are a genius, you can make it. But obviously you are just a dummy, seeking attention. And by the way, I am sure that your mother, she have, uh, I'm sure that you have a chin in the house. And your mother, she is a good woman, but you are not. But there is a punishment for rabies in the Quran, no. Yeah, you know, those who seek philosophy, they have nothing to say because philosophy is a circle. Circle of saying nothing, talking about nothing, wasting time. Never waste your time with a stupid idiot. You know, when you spend many, many years debating people, 
uh, you always you come to a, a very simple conclusion those people debate you and they are smart and the debate purpose is not I prove them wrong or they prove me wrong they want to know the truth those are the smart ones and those people who debate you just for the sake of debate which means it's just to speak and talk and say nothing you know he like uh, it's like a Greek uh, uh, debate uh, do, like do you want to debate me that the debating is uh, wrong which means anything can be a point of debate and the purpose is not debating the purpose is fun of using the words let us say practicing using words with thinking but the purpose is not finding a truth truth is not really important for them uh, let me go here Let us see here are some Yeah, so never waste your time. Even some people they try to make even the Bible complicated. Remember one thing that Jesus he spoke to people who have even no education. They don't have high school. They never been in a school. Jesus he did not say to them you have to be a philosopher. This is why Jesus he spoke to them in parables because so they can understand so easy. God is not the God of confusion. So you do not need to be a philosopher and those who try to make philosophy out of the Bible, they are not Christians. They are not. Because the Bible never was and would never be a book of philosophy. And it's not the purpose of it to be. Uh, there's a there's a kind of a club in the old days they used to have like uh, let us say people who um, they have anger like now they do uh, anger management but th this anger management is different people they go and they shout in their debate, which means you debate, but you have to shout. And when you shout, that will help you to take your anger from whatever causing you to be angry. So by the end of shouting and debating shouting, you go out like a balloon lost all the gas. You have nothing to shout about no more. So you go back to normal and now you feel better. Some people, they have some anger problem in their life and they need a place to shout and they seek attention because if they don't seek attention and attention doesn't come they are in pain uh, you know when somebody says to you i have a phd in the bible you ask yourself, for sure I'm not against anyone to have a PhD, even more degrees, no problem. That is even good. But do I have to be a Christian? Like, am I a Christian now if I don't have a PhD then? Was Peter a person of PhD? Was Paul? Was any of them? They have a PhD? When Philip, he said to Jesus, show us the Father and that's it. This is a person who is with him all the time. Show us the Father and that's it. Jesus said to him, I am with you all this time and you do not know me. So you can be next to Jesus, hearing Jesus every day, yet you do not know who is Jesus yet. And you will find those people everywhere. But doesn't make you bad, by the way, if you do not notice who is Jesus yet. 
because a moment will come like this person Philip he asked him show us the father doesn't make him bad but this is a this is a this is a kind of a, a human thinking how a human he think usually there's people who knows who is Jesus already they don't ask this question they did not say to Jesus show us the father there's a person who want to see the nails in the hands of Jesus there's a person he believed without seeing them There's a person who will betray Jesus. But all those, none of them have PhD. The good and the bad. The believer and the disbeliever. The one who was decent with Christ and the one who betrayed Christ. So never think about Jesus that you need a scholar to know who is Christ. Any religion, if we can use that word religion, need a scholar to make you understand it obviously it's not coming from God because God did not and should not be speaking to scholars because scholars one day they used to be zero like me and you how they become scholars so if the scholar will not become exist and his existence is the proof of him to be a believer that means this scholar himself was not a believer until he became a scholar and this is no philosophy stupid philosophy Jesus he said to the guy who is next to him in the cross today you will be with me in heaven this guy he did not attend Jesus classroom he did not follow Jesus he did not learn from Jesus he just believe in Jesus he said to him today you will be with me so learn from that that it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter how much you understand Christ is very simple I am the way I am the truth we do not need somebody to explain to us what the word liberal mean because Jesus he liberate us from our sin he liberate us from worshiping ourselves. This is why he said, I was hungry and you feed me, I was sick and you, you know, you, 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 you take care of me, I was a prisoner and you visited me, etc. Uh, they said to him, when we did that to you, Lord, he says, when you do it to my brothers, you did it to me. So with the Christ, you do not need to be a philosopher, you need to be human. We do not need somebody to give us a, a, a philosophy class about what is right, what's wrong. For Jesus taught us a very simple way. He said, the, the, this is what the book, the book is to wish to others what to wish yourself. Do I need a scholar to understand that? This is why Christ is beautiful and his teaching is amazing. Because you can be a philosopher and you can be a person of a PhD and you can be a farmer, still all of them, they got the same point. Do you understand? You do not need to be a scholar to know Jesus. Maybe I need to study the, the history in order to understand some stories in the Bible because it has to do with history. But if I understand them or not, that won't change anything. Because all the Bible is just about Jesus. Understand Jesus, you understand everything. The rest is not important. You see, if I do not know anything about David, let us say David. Is that going to affect my faith? No. Let us say there's no story about David in the Bible. Nothing will change. What about Solomon? Nothing will change. Adam and Eve, nothing will change. For we, as a Christians, the point of salvation is Jesus. It's not David. It's not even Moses. It's not even the Old Testament. It is Jesus. The Old Testament is to prepare for Jesus. Jesus came. So let's say I'm not reading the book, but doesn't mean I'm going to throw it away. But this book uh, uh, is just to tell me what happened about people who came long before preparing for the Messiah to come, waiting for the Messiah to come. But the Messiah came already. This is what Jesus says to Martha. He says, Martha, Martha, you are busy with many things, but the important is one. 
And the foolish ones is the one who try to make philosophy a religion or a philosophy of belief. Christ is very simple. And this is one of the most beautiful thing about him. When he spoke in parables, they said to him, why are, why you are doing that? You know, but it's obvious. So people, they might understand. Very smart way to present your case. So by telling you a story, a story which is not even real, it's a parable, you know? So by telling you a story, I just reach your, your brain by, you know, using images, characters, names, individuals, all of them, they will save one thing or they will serve one thing, your understanding. So when Jesus speaks using parables, he is humbling himself to go down to your understanding. Otherwise, can we compare God to my understanding? Because if my understanding is really good enough, then I do not need even Jesus to come. That's it. I will know about him before and before he come to me. I will know who is God before even he told me about himself. But because we need explanation, we need to learn, we need to see, we need to find out, and we need guidance. Jesus, when he did miracles, he did not do short time. He did not make the blind see just to show you how strong he is. He was just giving you a confirmation that nothing is impossible with Jesus. So if nothing is impossible with Jesus, that means your understanding go under that rule too. If you put in your heart that nothing is impossible with Jesus, then you give yourself to Jesus and you say, whatever you say to me, it's not going to be impossible to accept and to believe. For I believe by the one who nothing is impossible with him. Those who need to make philosophy and need to show off about themselves, understanding things more than us. They are a bunch of fools. Because the Bible makes it so clear. The law is loving to others what to yourself. That's it. This is the Old Testament. And this is mentioned in many places. All the Old Testament. But with Jesus, things is way more. This is about how you live, but not about how you will be resurrected. Because you can live good, be good, but doesn't mean still you are safe. That's why he says, come to me, knock at my door, I will open for you. I am the way, I am the truth, I'm the life, I'm the resurrection. So doing good deeds doesn't make you good God. Still you are a sinner. No matter how good your deed is. So Christ is very simple. I do not need to be, avoid those people who speak to you about uh, philosophy and to try to make it make things complicated things is way way simple for Christ is simple if you go and see a search in the we don't have much time almost eight hours because YouTube will shut us down when we have eight hours complete uh, I don't know I have to hide this video now because we have this uh, dancers we have to cut them off i mean i don't know why even i play them those stupid islamic program uh so anyway but with, 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 the, with the christ my friend you do not need the middle person you do not need any middle person you do not need a doctor you do not even need a teacher christ is your teacher you open the bible you read it and i advise you always when you read the parables of jesus live them don't read them. Try to live the story so you can understand the story. When Jesus speak about the three which their master gave them to investment, 
and one he keep it as it is and the one who double it and the one it's very simple but it's very deep do I need somebody to have a PhD to explain it to me no if Jesus he need a person with each PhD to explain to him that's mean Jesus explained nothing yet <laughs> you know what I mean that means Jesus himself his story is not good and the most deep book which we did say can be a little bit complicated is the revelation but this is is, is, is exist in such a way because it's revelation it's something will happen in the future which means when those things happen we will we will see them it's not to understand now it's to understand when they happen So people that try to solve solve them now because simply they don't understand that this book is called Book of Revelation of things will happen in the future. So when the future become now, then you will understand them, not before that. But Jesus as life, Jesus as method, Jesus as mission, who is Jesus is already clear. Don't listen to those fools who try to fool you. You will find a lot of them in the street, like Jehovah's Witnesses. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Maybe I will uh, hide this video until I cut it, cut the bad part of it about this, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, but we don't want people to copy the whole thing with those dancers, you know. For me, I don't care really. I mean, it's the reality. But it's not, I don't like to be part of the video. And we are talking about Jesus now, you know. Uh, garbage. What do you expect? You know, we are not talking about the Bible only. Uh, but speaking about Jesus and such a channel is not a good thing. You know, we cannot put darkness, filth, and madness with, with, the, with his holiness. It doesn't, doesn't make, uh, doesn't match. Wrong place. Right? We spoke before about making a, a, a channel to, to teach the Bible. But remember, if we do that, we will get idiots like this guy Scott. He will get Jehovah's Witnesses, he will get all of those things. So I'm thinking if I open that channel, we will make it kind of a private. Uh, or let us say, people who join the, the chat, we will find a way to make a chat that only us. And we will leave it in YouTube. So we will mean... We will make a, a different program for the chat so people can ask questions and uh, we go on YouTube in the same time. So we don't get people to disturb me because, you know, for me, uh, you know me by now, I cannot see somebody saying something stupid and I can avoid it. And that will take us away from our topic. And those people, they will love to take us away from our topic. And I don't want to be talking about the Bible and then suddenly I will find myself speaking to Abdul about vagina. You know what I mean? If I open a channel about the Bible, I want to keep it clean. And the only way to keep it clean is not to allow such a person to intervene and take me out of my direction. And you know, sadly, I mean, we cannot talk about this cult without saying the word vagina. <laughs> what a crazy religion. <laughs> oh, boy. So, uh, uh, actually, I, I will see when we start this one. But uh, I'm just thinking about how many idiots they will argue with me. How many people they are going to come and tell me and try to school us about what you can say? Do you remember once I, I said to a Muslim about the Trinity? I said to him, do you see the sun, how the sun and the light and the heat? People, they start accusing me of uh, being heretic. You know, the Christian prince is saying, like, what the heck? I'm just like, making it simple for him. So you will find people who they are jealous. They are trying their best to say anything about you. There's a person, he said that Christian Prince, he don't believe in Trinity. They open even channels to, to fight me. I mean, what the heck with those people? Why? How I don't believe in the Trinity? 
because he is showing them a verse from the Quran saying that Jesus is one and three in the same time. <laughs> Stupid idiot. I'm showing them from their Quran to show them that if Jesus in the Quran can be possible three and one in the same time, that's mean our God can be three and one in the same time. So people will be jealous. People, they are angry. People who hate what you do. If I go right now to Patreon, I see somebody sending me email saying, do you know that this guy is posting your videos and he's asking for donation? I answer back, I said, what's your problem? Are you jealous? Go post videos. Do you see the jealousy? I mean, what's your problem yourself? What happened to you? He's better than you, at least he's posting my videos. So what if he's, good, if he's, good, if he's asking for donation and people giving donation willingly, he's not lying saying it's me, what's your business? If somebody want to donate to somebody else, what's your business? He's jealous, obviously. So there's evil all over. There's 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 uh, Judah is exists inside the family, inside the house. There's people between us right now. They claim to be Christians, but they are wolves. They would not like to see you doing good. Sometimes people even don't think. They don't think. Some people, they are like, I don't know. Like I make an admin. She is a female. I don't know if she's a female or not. You know, for me, I watch the text and I see who is the one who really support always what I do. And I make the person admin. So I made the person admin. I receive a message saying, do you know that she is a female? Like, what the heck? So... And the funny, the one is asking me, she's a female too. So I said to her, should I take all the females off? Aren't you a female too? So it's a, if it's a problem to make an admin a female, if she is a female, aren't you a female? So sometimes jealousy, sometimes they want to be the only one maybe in charge. Sometimes they don't want anyone to be there except themselves. I don't know how people think. So what if she is a female? What's my business? I need an admin. I do not need women to give babies. Help me in the chat. We are not doing adult breastfeeding here. So always before you do take an action in your life or, or words or saying things, think you know be loving uh, uh, say thank god we have somebody to help us you know what's the, what's the problem right yeah but there's a good jealousy and there's a bad jealousy right so if we have a good hearted then we should not be upset if somebody else being successful do we agree that you know if, if you don't like somebody to be successful that means you are not a good person that means there's something wrong with you that means you do not know christ yet i can be jealous let us say there's a person who was able to make a thousand muslim christians in one month let us say i make only 100 i am i will be jealous that's a good jealousy but not just because I want to fight him. No, I want to compete to do the good work. The Lord, he gave three servants investment. They are equal investment. One of us was able to make it two, twice more. One of us, he was make, able to make it three times more. The one who is making it two and three, they are good. They are doing good. So, the one who is making it too, he should be jealous, says, I should make even more. But this is a good jealousy. He is not competing with the person because he hates him. He is competing with the work. I want to do more and serve more. So always think about it in a certain way. Is the jealousy serving you know, Christ or it is against?
and by the way if somebody speak let us say negative about me I mean I don't think it's there's nothing wrong with that you can say that especially if it's true like you know when people say uh, Sam Shamoon he don't have patient Sam Shamoon he agree I don't have patient right it's true that's not being negative that's what you're saying stating a fact when I say David Wood is not good in debate but he's good in making short videos it's a fact I witness to it I'm not putting him down I'm not saying he's not good you know this guy is so good at making short videos very good he can do way better than me you know I can make I can't make a short video my short video is two hours right so all of us we are fruit and we are delicious in the table of the Lord we have different taste we have different look but all of us we are his fruits so always think about it this way his fruit is different than yours but it's still it's a fruit as long as still good fruits he's good you know what I mean the question is is our fruit is good the Lord he said from their fruits you shall know them so the one who do good fruits is good and if I say to my brother you are not doing good in here I'm not saying he is not good I'm saying here you are not doing good which means try to fix it work hard on yourself and you can do it, say that to me too you know it's true that I am an Arab I get upset <laughs> we don't like people to to say to say to us oh no you are you are wrong <laughs> yeah one hour short video I don't think I can make an hour one short video actually I can do if I don't go live so I can make a video because the chat is the one who make me stay long you, you know that right uh, and you know ideas bring other idea and etc so if I want to go short video I can do make a short video but I have to disable the chat as long as I have the chat running that mission is impossible Right? Uh, no, actually, I can make short videos. Honestly, I can make short videos, but I'm, I'm telling you, but I have to make it like not live. I mean, nobody's watching. Then I can set alarm and then finish it like in 15 minutes. But as long as people are watching, it is going to be mission impossible. Actually, like even those who make short videos, they don't make, they don't go live, right? They record it and then they post it. This is the only way to make a short video, because the second somebody says to you in the chat, and you will notice actually if I say now, okay, guys, I'm leaving. You will see most of them they say something right away. I mean, I just said goodbye. God bless you. Bye bye. He says something, and then I find myself I have to refute it. Many times it happened, by the way. Yeah, we can use the quality of life, but here we go. I mean, we are sharing. All right. Um. Yeah, actually, I have to agree. I mean, David Wood is very good in short videos. He is a straight to the point. He put things in, you know, together in a very nice way, you know. And at the same time, you know, because, you know, I do not need to tell you that his English is way better than mine. So he can explain such a short video in a faster way, let's say, you know. Uh, for me, I think there's a problem because I have too much information. So if I want to cover a point, I don't, let us say, stop with few points. I have like a flood of information. And that is making it really maybe mission impossible. If I know little, then I will say the little and bye bye. But because I do not know little, then how I'm going to make a short video with little information. 
I never use Discord. I, I opened an account once, but I did not like it. You know, it's weird. People start talking. I do not know where. You do not know who's talking in the mic. Very weird program. Uh, Sometimes having little, uh, let us say, limited information can help. Uh, because you know you say what you know and you, you put them together and that's it you are done right but in my case it's not really it's not the case um <clears throat> Okay, if a husband leave Islam and accept Jesus and his wife chose to stay in Islam, what happened next? Are they divorced and now according to the Bible or what? No, according to the Bible, because in the time of Christ, in the time, you know, of, uh, even after the disciples, sorry, there's many people who used to be pagans and they accepted Jesus. So the Bible doesn't encourage you to divorce. You, you continue, you know, Jesus don't want to destroy families. So, if you if your husband or you are the husband and she is the wife and one of you stay as a Muslim you stay married because simply you are not married after you became a Christian you are married before so it's not your fault it's not his fault right otherwise if you if you are a Christian and you marry after you became a Christian from a Muslim that is not marriage it's not allowed but you are Muslim, she or he is Muslim, one of you left, became a Christian, then you can stay with the husband or with the wife. You know, I remember one thing, that the purpose of not to be with someone is not a believer, that will not hurt God, that will hurt you. Trust me, nothing, nothing to do with, I mean, what that will do to Jesus, nothing. Is, is he going to be able to hurt him? No, but it's going to hurt you because you will be suffering. You are a believer, he is not. You want to pray, he don't. He want your children to be Muslims, you want his children to be Christians. So this is not a healthy partnership. But the Bible will not encourage you to divorce the person you are married to before you leave Islam. No Christian cannot marry a non-Christian because simply marriage in Christianity is is a is a is a is a marriage between two believers. Let me make it simple for you. If somebody don't believe in the law, which the marriage is going to go uphold according to, how we can call that marriage? You know what I mean? Because marriage come with terms and conditions. And the terms and conditions of marriage in Christianity is totally different from Islam. In Islam, there's no marriage. It's just a sex contract. He can divorce you anytime just by saying two words. Marriage in Christianity is unity. It's not a sex contract. So in order to have such a word marriage, merge together, ikhad, we have to be united. And how we can be united and we are not believing in the same Lord. So the unity here is unity under the Lord name, not under the contract and paper made by government. Do you understand me, my friend? The marriage is not a paper. It's a unity by God and with God. Otherwise, who care for paper? Do they, in the time of Jesus, they used to have papers? We write paper, your name and my name, and we go to court? No. That is not what marriage is. So when you marry a Muslim, he believed that he can have four wives. He don't believe in your belief. So how you can live with that person? You will suffer a lot. Or a person is a pagan. So this is, will not be a healthy, let us say, uh, life. And the kids will suffer a lot. But, well, the, the kids will be confused. Are we, 
Are we Christians? Are we Muslims? Should we listen to our mom or our dad? You know what I mean? <clears throat> thank you, Andrew. You see, Andrew is saying to me, a Christian prince, it's time for you to leave. He's saying to me, thank you for your stream. <laughs> or maybe he's leaving. Thank you, Andrew. By the way, uh, tell Phil, you know, the admin, I took him from the list because I was upset from that girl who kept flirting. Tell him to come back here. I don't know, he disappeared. I took him out. I was just upset from him. So somebody tell him to come back. So I put him admin again. He's a good guy, very good guy. But I was upset from this crazy woman. She kept flirting, mentally ill. Uh, and actually, not only about marriage avoid associating with people who don't believe because they will not bring something good to your life you hear every weekend or so somebody got shot somewhere you know why they went to night club okay what do you expect from night club just ask yourself you go to a night club and then you wonder why there's a crime there it's a night club there's drugs there is sex there's men fighting over girls, maybe, competition, roosters. So you don't go and put yourself in the wrong place, in the wrong time, and then you wonder why wrong things happen, right? And this is, goes for everything in life. Don't do things that doesn't sound right. If I associate myself with people who smoke, what I will learn from them? If, I, if they did not teach me how to smoke, I will smoke their smoke without smoking. Correct? So why I want to associate with people who smoke when I don't like smoking? And I know it's not healthy. Because sometimes, even if you don't do what they do, still what they do affect you. As we mentioned to you, like smoking. So life is a choice, and every choice we make Either it can build or can destroy. Not necessarily just marriage, it can be anything. Who is my friends? Where I spend my time? What I say in front of my kids? If I say the F word to my wife, why my kid tomorrow will respect me? He will say the F word to me too. If a wife and a husband, they say all kind of filthy language in front of their children to each other. Why you expect your children to, to respect you? Just give me a reason. You are filthy. But if a child, he never saw the mother and the father speaking to each other except by respect and love, he will have an, an example. You see, you are making an example of yourself. There is a, there is an, like a, this is a saying in the Middle East. There's a guy uh, he got married <clears throat> and uh, his parents they came to visit him so they have like this thing in the door you can look you see who's outside so the wife she look and she said this is your parents this is your parents don't open the door the guy the potato he did not dare to open the door because his wife she told him I don't want them when her parents come in she opened the door she bought a dinner celebrate so, you know, one day his wife, she gave birth. And it was a girl. He was very happy. A year after, she gave birth to a boy. He was very upset. She said to him, this is strange. You're an Arab. You like boys. What happened? How come you were excited for the girl, excited for the boy? He said, because she will open the door for me when I get older. She, my, my son will be like me. My parents came to my door. I did not open the door for them. So you do give a best example for your children. And they will do to you what you do to your parents. If you put your father or your mother in a nursing home, they will put you in a nursing home. I assure you, they will dump you there. If you don't care to see what's happening to your mother, 
they will not care what happened to their mother because always you are giving them the worst example you will get back from your cooking everything will come back to you uh, My friend, how I can join Indonesian channel and I speak English. I'm not, I don't speak English. I speak Indonesian. So what the point of me? Secondly, I don't like to join any other channels. I don't agree with people. I think you can tell, right? Because they will make me upset. Uh, I'm not sure what Mr. Andres is saying doesn't make sense uh, let's see And you know, here you see like an example when somebody says, like Andres here saying, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad. What Muhammad have to do with those names? Where do you get this from? Jesus said to the Jews, not to the Muslims, if you are of your father Abraham, you do the, uh, the work of your father Abraham. Do Muhammad do the work of Abraham? Why Abraham was a criminal? Was he a thief? Was he a child molester? Was he a rapist? So what Muhammad have to do with Abraham? Yeah, but you know, people, they didn't put, yeah. They put their dump. They carry dump and they leave it in the, right, in the, in the side of the road. Somebody will translate your English if you join Indonesian. No, my friend, first of all, I don't want to be, uh, hold on, uh, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad. My friend, change your name and come back. Get lost. Don't insult my Jesus, but in him before next to Muhammad. You are a donkey. When the Muslim, they say that Jesus is a Muslim, then Jesus should act like a Muslim. And a Muslim, he attacked the Roman to get the blondie girls. If Jesus was a Muslim, then he should be filthy like Muhammad. He go after children, have sex with them. So don't come here with your stupidity. Even your prophet do not even know what the name of Jesus. His name is Isa. Who is this Isa? Your stupid prophet, he heard that there's a woman, her name is Maryam. She have a son, his name is Isa. But this Maryam is the sister of Aaron. So he thought that Jesus or Isa is the nephew of Moses. And even in the Bible, by the way, Maryam, she is not married. This is coming from the Jewish stories, not from the Bible. So when a Muslim Abdul, just because Muhammad, he used some names, he want to tell us that Muhammad, he belonged to the same team. No, he don't. The God of Abraham, his religion, teach that in heaven, there's no sex. Your God is a pimp. You know, uh, when Jesus spoke about divorce, many people think that Jesus, he is against divorce just for the sake of against divorce. No, he's protecting women. Muhammad, he is the, against protecting women. Muhammad, he abused women. The Jewish people, they used to be abusive to women. So they marry you when you are young, they divorce you when you get older. They like to use you very aggressive culture why he want to stay with old women he go for a younger so what jesus did he stopped them from abusing the women you don't divorce a woman because she became older you don't divorce the women for any reason except adultery otherwise you are evil so 
Jesus was not against divorce because the divorce is good or bad. It was against divorce for the Jews abusing women. Muhammad, he made divorce so easy. You say once one word, Talaq. So Muhammad, he present everything evil against Jesus teaching. Muhammad, he go to his son wife, he flirt with her. Jesus, he said to you, take your eye before you do that. Take it, block it out. So when those cowards, they add the name of Jesus next to Muhammad, remember one thing, they are insulting Jesus. They are comparing a child molester to the holiness of the Lord. Even in their book. No, not three times. You do not need to say three times. Who said that to you, Karana? Three times is not really, is not exist. If you say, it, if you do it at Allah three times, then she cannot come back to the husband unless she sleep with a different one, which is more filthy and abusive to the women. But the Muslim, he do not need to say it three times, he say it only once. He said Allah, even he said text message, one divorce, you are divorced, that's it. There's nothing is called three times. Three times is to confirm that he don't want her no more, for forever. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I mean, we will try to take tomorrow off then. It's already Friday. Oh boy. Uh, and you know, never compromise and never let them insult your Lord. You see, he just put the name. In the beginning, I did not notice the name. Is, is this is the, I thought this is a sentence. But when I noticed that this is the name, I did not tolerate that. They are coming here to insult Jesus. This time is an insult to Jesus. When Muhammad, he said that his God, he said to Khadija, look how faithy he is. He said to Khadija when she is dying, imagine your wife is dying and then you say to her, don't forget to say hello to my wives in heaven. Khadija, she said, what wives? Did you marry before me? He said, no, but Allah, he promised me the wife of the Pharaoh and the mother of Jesus. Can you believe it? How filthy he is? How sick? Can you believe it? Very disgusting. This is the same person, by the way. This is Job himself. He's mentally ill, obviously. He will come back again. It's okay. We will we'll block him. But you know, the funny thing is, uh, the, the more they get angry, the more that we are successful. They don't dare to, to call us, remember that? They are text terrorists. They don't dare to call. I open my Skype, I say, who want to call me? They don't dare. We offer this guy many times to call me. He will not do that. Because he knew he have no luck if he call. So this is what I mentioned, that they try always to take your attention. But actually, always this is help us somehow, because that will open more ideas to speak about more things exposing Muhammad. Like now we just mentioned how Muhammad, he said that Allah, he promised him, even the wife of the Pharaoh, can you believe it? How faith he is. This person is mentally ill. He think he is the greatest and all women who they are famous, they will be dreaming to be in his bed. So his God promised him, the mother of Jesus, the wife of the Pharaoh. For he is a sick bastard. If you ask yourself, why in the world anyone even want to mention such a thing? Let us say he's a prophet. Okay. Why, why, why does God want to give you the mother of Jesus? Why is that? What does that mean? Filthy, satanic person. He hates Jesus.
uh, Al Hayat, Indonesia. I don't know what you are talking about. And please don't repeat for me the same request. I just said no. Don't force me to block you too. I just said I don't like to be in their channel. It doesn't matter if it's Indonesian or not. Did I say that many times? I don't like people to do interview to me. I find it silly. I don't find myself doing such a silly thing. Same time, if people they would have uh, me teaching them there, here we go. You can translate. Take my videos, translate to the Indonesian. I said no, don't repeat yourself, otherwise you're acting like a Mohammedan. Uh, uh, Patrick saying how he can ask question. I don't know, Patrick, you just did. Didn't you ask a question now? You're asking me how to ask questions. You just did. This is a question. So instead of asking how to ask question, you should ask the question. It's like sending a letter to the government saying how I can send you a letter. And then the government, they send you a letter back saying, send us a letter. And then after you send them a back letter saying, thank you for us telling me that I should send a letter. Now already you wasted two letters. Anyway, we can spend the day sending letters to each other. No problem. Um... All right, I think we have enough for today. Uh, I think I'm going to hide this video until we cut it off. Take those. Uh, are we are we here already for eight hours and sixteen minutes? Is that correct? No. I don't know. It says there in the corner of my side. It says eight hours and sixteen minutes, because as I know, YouTube allow you only to have eight uh, eight hours. Maybe now they allow more. I'm not sure. I ask Ustaz Abdul Samud to the Bay Christian Prince in reply. Send him an email. Try to make send an email. You can send the email to Zakir Naik too. And see what they will say to you. You know, so we can just laugh. Don't hide it. Okay, who in the world can watch eight hours with you? <laughs> And you know, by the way, uh, have you ever tried to sit for eight hours without moving? Anyone try it? Sitting in a chair. You will know really how hard it is. You sit for eight hours, you don't even go to the bathroom. <laughs> Try it. Uh, <clears throat> you might say how I can do it. I, me, myself, I don't know. I can. But it's not easy. You will lose your voice first in less than an hour. Especially you are shouting and debating and arguing and you are the only one keep talking. You don't even have a, play, a person to replace you, you know. Um, no, it's not a record. You know, I used to stay for... Uh, once I stayed online, I opened Friday night, I closed Sunday. Honest to God. I opened Friday at night, I closed Sunday. Sunday in the morning. But this was not in YouTube, it was in uh, Pal Talk. <clears throat> but you know, in, in, in Pal Talk, we did really a lot of great, great work. When I came in Pal Talk this many, many years ago, there was almost every day the Muslim bringing somebody taking Shahada in their chat rooms.
and that makes me so upset. And later I found that some of them they are fake, but some of them is true. They are they are converting. Uh, so this is why I decided really to open a chat room in English in that program. And then in less than six months, all those who converted to Islam through the chat rooms, they left Islam and they became, you know, they became like addicted to my chat room. And then this is how the Muslims they start accusing me that I'm paying people money, you know, to leave Islam and those who left Islam from the Muslim already, originally let's say they are from Muslim family. So they accuse me that I'm, you know, I remember I told you the story of the five hamburgers. There's a guy, his name is a Muslim programmer. They said, they, they spread rumors that I paid him $300 to buy shoes. But I did not give him the money yet, you know. So he decided to leave Islam for shoes. True story. You know? uh, <clears throat> yeah. So we did a lot of work, really. We were very successful. And uh, the, the problem was at that time, uh, nobody wanted to listen. You know, the Muslim, they gather themselves there. They have big chat room. So when I started, nobody want to come and listen. And then what happened? 9-11 happened. And suddenly, from a, from nobody want to listen to I don't have even a space in my chat room. It was 9-11 who changed everything. Otherwise, before that, nobody want to listen. You know, Mr. Potato, GP, you are really mentally ill. Literally, you are mentally ill. I'm telling you, I feel sorry for your wife if you are married. You have a mental problem. Even though I think you are a girl, by the way. But you have a mental issue. Uh, you know, when somebody, you block him and he come, come back and he say the same thing. What what medicine you are? What what is uh, what is the case of this person? Is that Muhammad? He is hearing the voice of the bell. We say to him, "Call me and talk to me." He did not do that. He come back and he posed the same thing. Mental. Garbage in, garbage out. Uh, no, not to run away. They said that I gave him. I promise him I will pay him three hundred dollars because he didn't have a good shoes, and that's why he left Islam. It's a funny, the guy is even programmer, you know, imagine how much money he make. His name is Muslim programmer. <laughs> so he have a software engineering degree, and he need me to pay him, and he live in England, I pay him $300 to buy shoes. Well, you know, because they could not explain. There's a guy, he's a doctor from, from England, he used to open a chat room to attack me, almost three years. Every day, this guy, he had nothing to say except his title that they am exposing Christian Prince. Three years after, once he came to my room and he was saying everything Christian Prince is saying is true. We thought this is a fake name. I did not give it attention. Because the same name as this guy. But he don't usually come to my room. But then they said to me that they check at his name, they click at his profile, this is him. So we said to him, come to the microphone and tell us what are you talking about? Are you like, are you being comedian, a comedian now? He took the mic. He says, I decided to leave Islam. I'm not a Muslim no more. And everything he says is true. And you will see that this guy who was a hero a day before, he became the scumbag for the Muslims. They accused him that he was false for three years, lying to them. He never been a Muslim. He is actually, uh, uh, he is a Shia, they accuse him Shia, the guy is a Sunni. You know, the guy is a Sunni, his father is a Sunni, all his family. So, I mean, they start making all kind of uh, stories about him. Uh, because he left Islam, what you can say? You know, but the day before he was a hero. Yeah. And actually, I did not talk to him. I mean, this guy, I did not really talk to him. But he, you know, he heard, he heard what I say. And he studied it, he checked it out, it turned to be true. He left us now. This guy is the same I like those Jehovah's Witnesses. Once there's two Jehovah's Witnesses, they come to to my house. And then usually people they don't welcome them, right? And actually the Bible by the way says don't welcome them. Because if you are not very well 
let us say verse and uh, you know what I'm talking about they come for you uh, so I welcome them they come inside too then after like I don't know an hour or so uh, one of them he said okay let us leave look like it's not working the other guy he said I'm not leaving so what are you talking about he said I don't want to you know I don't want to stay so I told him what's wrong with you this is my house you want to stay it's welcome so they came to Jehovah's Witnesses they left one second day they brought another guy <laughs> to fix it <laughs> I mean the story is funny yeah so like it's like it's this the same as this guy ultimate fart and those people you know so they lost they could not answer anything they brought somebody suppose he's smarter it turned to be the same thing and then uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, they never come back to my door again. Never, never. And I, like no, nobody. It looked like they gave a warning: don't go to this door. Never. And I put I put a, a paper at my door says Jehovah's Witnesses are welcome. <laughs> Everybody saying there's no trespassing, no etc. Except at my door it says Jehovah's Witnesses are welcome. <laughs> Bring your Bible with you. <laughs> But then nobody comes, so I took it off. I waited like a, usually they come always, but not anymore. So I stayed there for like a week, two weeks, and then it get wet by the rain. So it fell apart by itself. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, I think it's enough for today. I don't know, should I uh, hide this video until I fix it and cut the, the pieces of this dancing of those uh, Muslim Dawah? I don't know, what do you think, guys? Maybe I should hide it. I mean, who's going to witness, who's going to watch eight hours and 26 minutes? And by the time we finish, maybe it's going to be nine, nine hours. Think about it. The only one will watch it maybe is this guy, Abraham, because he wanna see what happened to him in the chat. You want to see how funny he is, maybe. I think he's just seeking attention, poor guy. Uh, if Joe witnesses ring your door, tell them that I will yes, open. No, for me, I, I like to talk to them because it's very easy to... Look, I have a video actually of me in France. Anyone saw it? In France. I was walking in the street and the second day they ran away from me. I just asked them a very simple question, you know. It, it says, a God. Very simple, a God, your translation. How in the world you say a God? How many gods you have? A job of is very stupid cult, you know. It's, it's even it's more stupid than Muhammad. Uh, no, actually, Muhammad is more stupid. Uh, but you do not need to be a scholar to get them busted. It's so easy. Uh, no, we don't believe that uh, human history is a predetermined because this is false. This is against the Bible, Jesus said. When, when, uh, when uh, uh, the Jews, they crucified Jesus. What Jesus said in the cross, guys? Anyone can tell me? What, what Jesus says to the Father? He said, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. So if there is a predestiny, then why he's asking for forgiveness for them? It's a, it was a predestiny, right? So don't go with the philosophy and stupid things because if there's a predestiny the way you are saying this means there's no point of sending Jesus or coming of Jesus and forgiveness of Jesus because everything is already everything is a predestiny so you just use your brain otherwise your brain will rust Jesus said not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will so there's people that will say, Lord, Lord, but there's people who will do the will, and there's people who will not, which means they have a freedom of choice. So, predestiny does not exist. The only predestiny I can say of, speak of, is God, he says to Adam, go down, and you will die. That's it. That is the, that is the destiny we can change. 
but that's not about our work now that is an action he take not us so uh, uh, destiny in Christianity is absolutely not exist God knows the future yes but it's my future which I make All right so don't be uh, you know don't make things up and don't let people fool you actually anyone who believe in the predestiny that the same as Muslims that's mean this God is a stupid because he decides for me to do sin he decides for me to kill he decides for me to rape and then he will punish me for doing those things who he decides for me that is the most stupid God ever this predestiny is against justice do you agree this is against justice which means it's against the nature of God so God he did not make Adam commit sin Adam he commits sin God he says to him don't do this Adam he did this so how you say predestiny so don't confuse yourself uh, anyway I want to say thank you guys for being here I better go otherwise we will stay here for eight nine hours already eight hours and 30 minutes I will try to keep it let us see but uh, the one who would download I don't know how you can download this file is going to take forever and you have to cut it pieces a lot of pieces uh, Christianity is suffering my God is suffering no my friend Christianity is always always doing great and our God is not suffering the one who suffer is people like you you see when Jesus was on the cross when he said father forgive them they don't know what they are doing that is saying that the suffer of Jesus was not really truly exist it was the joy of forgiveness that is my Lord Christianity never suffer because even Christianity when they were under discrimination and the king of the Roman it was a flourishing actually the best time of Christianity is the time of discrimination not the opposite because then you will find true Christians the more discrimination they put upon us the more truthful and the more strong we will be so Christianity never suffer Christianity always successful with the 12 disciples Jesus he changed the world not the 12 armies and those 12 they die their death is a success so a foolish person he say the suffering a smart person he says the joy and the succeed and the success I'm here for nine hours it's a suffering it's not God knows how many people will leave this cult for me it's a joy for you it's a suffering maybe so what is a suffering for you because you have the devil in your heart is a joy for me when a person he work hard to feed his children he's suffering or he's enjoying trust me he's enjoying when he see his kids warm and happy and eating and they are closed which one is better to stay home and not to suffer to go to work and see his children hungry or to go to work and come back and his children around him happy and they are eating and they are warm so suffering for a person is a joy for other person especially if love is involved and the Bible says love never fail love never ever fail so you are silly acting like a monkey but we don't have a coconut for you to shoot at you with it this is what you want there are some people they enjoy to be monkeys because they are seeking attention and you got our attention thank you very much you just got you busted and you just increase my podcast for other uh, few minutes more <laughs> <laughs> right remember one thing when people they say to you Christianity is suffering that's mean we are we are really not because if a Christianity is suffering why you are here even to talk about it if it's not not important no more you know I mean, <laughs> I mean you are suffering man. <laughs> like a Muslim today he said me says Christianity is finished man <laughs> 
if the Christianity is finished, how come you can't pray to your God five times a day without without talking about us? You can't even live without us. We are finished, and you keep talking about us 24 hours, seven days a week. We are finished, man. Stop talking about us, stupidity. And he might say to you, so why are you talking about us? I'm not talking about you. I'm saving you. When I say the Chinese says he left as a donkey, never come back as a horse, I'm talking about you. I'm trying to make you a horse, but not every donkey can turn into a horse. Those donkeys will never try to change. When this your prophet, he went to the seven heavens, he came back, and after a surgery, plastic surgery in his chest, and they installed a dish of faith and dish of wisdom. And imagine Muhammad is so stupid after the surgery. So how stupid he was before the surgery. And by the way, not to forget to mention, have you ever heard that there is somebody, his God, decide that he need some adjustment. So he installed a dish of faith and dish of wisdom in his chest. I mean, how stupid this God is. He noticed that this guy, he don't fit. He, he does too many screws are missing. The story alone is enough to prove that Islam is a stupid made by a stupid person. All right, have fun. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. I'm not going to end with the music or introduction. That's it. Nine hours is enough. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And I'll see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.